Hiya fishy folks and welcome to one of Michael's Fish Room's rants. Last night, I was on Facebook after a very long day of work here in Japan where it was like 190 degrees with 362% humidity. It messed with my hair, it was ridiculous. Luckily the AC in the room goes down to uh, 16 degrees C which is like, I don't know, 45 or something. So it was nice and cool in my room. But get home from, from work, I have dinner, I'm tooling around Facebook, I'm gonna watch uh, watch some Netflix or something and uh, I come across this fish this post on a Facebook group called fish tank group therapy now lately I've been trying to stay away from most Facebook groups and here's why there are a lot of newbies who ask questions that don't make any sense I don't want to I'm not trying to like be mean to newbies. I'm not trying to, to come across as a jerk, an a-hole or whatever, but there are certain questions that newbies ask that I just, I don't want to deal with because just a, a tiny bit of research and you get your answer, but you ask the question in a public forum, essentially. All right, so here's what happened. So somebody wrote a post about her pH in her tank or something. And... Um, I don't remember what the post was, but it was something about high pH, what should I do or something, I don't know. And someone mentioned maybe you have too many fish in your tank, how many fish do you have? And this guy, Ryan, writes, in, in an answer, writes, too many fish? I thought someone once told me rule of thumb is no more than one inch per gallon of fish. The one inch per gallon rule. Maybe we've all heard this. If you have any common any common sense at all and know anything about fish keeping, you know that rule is dumb. It is a rule made up by probably salespeople who are trying to sell fish, you know, 20 years ago to people who couldn't look on the internet because there was no internet. That's right, people. When I was a kid, if you had to look up some fact, you had to open up a book called an encyclopedia. I know. Killing you, I'm sure. Anyway, you couldn't just go to your phone. You had to like go to the library or if you're lucky, your mom bought a set of encyclopedias within the last five years so the information may or may not be relevant. All right, it's a whole nother story. Ryan writes, too many fish. I thought someone once told me rule of thumb is no more than one inch per gallon of fish. Six inch fish equals six gallons of water minimum. Okay. So I write, because I was a little cranky last night. It was a long day, it was hot, it was busy. That's a stupid rule of thumb. Think about that. A 10 inch Oscar would be okay in a 10 gallon tank. No, right? I didn't call him stupid. I just said it was a stupid rule. So, Ryan writes, no, it was for bigger tanks. I might have it wrong. Maybe they said one inch equals 10 gallons, I can't remember, was more asking if they had an overpopulated tank. <clears throat> then why don't you just say, what's in your tank? You quoted a rule. Now, I don't know Ryan at all, and to be frank, I don't really care. It, it doesn't matter to me. If you've watched my channel all, you know there's two things about me. I am a handsome devil and I tell it like it is. If I feel like saying something, I say it. <clears throat> if I don't like a product, I tell you. If I don't like a Facebook channel or perhaps, you know, a YouTuber who thinks he's royalty, I tell you. Anyway. Then he writes. Uh, hold on. Stand by. Then he writes was more of a, you have a 55 gallon tank than no more than 50 or so one inch fish. Always somebody gotta be a jerk. Again, I don't think I was being a jerk. Maybe I was a little crass. Maybe it was a little over the top for some people, but again, I didn't call him stupid. I called the stupid rule stupid. Rule of thumb. So I write, Ryan, not being a jerk, just showing how that is a dumb rule that should never ever be spoken. 
Then I think the OP posts, uh, I have always been told the same with fish. Only have three fish in a 20 gallon. Let's, let's investigate this statement. I only have three fish in a 20 gallon. Okay, if you have three guppies, three platies, three sword tails, three rams, <coughs> fine. You may never have to do a water change. What if you had three common plecos in a 20 gallon? That might be a problem, but the rule doesn't state any of that. It just says, generally, one inch of fish, one gallon of water. What if you had three Oscars, like in my example? Three Oscars in a 20 gallon not only would cause very, very, very dirty water very quickly, but it would probably be a bloodbath. How about three flower horns? Or any of those big Central or South American cichlids that y'all love, right? Can't do that. Sure, if you had three small fish, you know, that grow to be big fish, sure. But in my experience, most people don't plan like that. Occasionally someone will say, well, I got a 55 gallon tank with cichlids and uh, you know, I need a pleco and so I bought a common pleco because they're cheap and they're hardy and blah, blah, they can stand up to the, the aggression. I did that. And now he's in a 90 gallon tank and I'm getting ready to figure out what to do with him probably because he's getting a little too big for the 90 gallon tank. I don't mean too big, he, he can go in there for a while but the poop is just, it's like this long, it's ginormous. It's like my, nothing. No, nothing. Forget that. Get that out of your mind. You're really going to want to get that out of your mind. Back to the rant. <clears throat> Here's where it gets good. Connie Barnett Hamilton. That's right. Three names. Connie Barnett Hamilton. Michael Skernick. Let's keep it nice, please. And not P-L-E-A-S-E. -E. Please. P-L-Z which bugs the ever-living bejesus out of me. This isn't a text. You're not texting your buddy or, you know, your kid's not texting your mom. This is what I'm assuming is a grown-up writing on Facebook, PLZ. We're not here to judge, thank you. Well, I must respond. I must defend my statement. Connie Barnett Hamilton, who is judging? Facts are facts. The myth, one inch per gallon rule, is not only wrong, it makes no sense, as I proved. Connie responds approximately a minute later. It's not what you said, it's how you said it. Please refrain from using the word stupid. It just wasn't a very kind choice of words at all. Oh. My. MFing God. Really? I can't use stupid on Facebook because it hurts your feelings? It's not a very kind word, you know what? Neither is dumbass, but you know, I use that sometimes too. Stupid. I can't use the word stupid on this fish tank group therapy. Now I understand why it's called fish tank group therapy. Now listen, if I have a bad day at work or I'm not getting along with my wife, the first thing I do is go down to my fish room. Why? Because it's therapeutic because I can sit there and look at the fish or I can work in the fish room. There's a lot of things I can do. I set up a tank for veterans for <clears throat> just for the same purpose, right? I get it. It's therapy, but it's Facebook. It's a public forum. I used the word stupid and she didn't like it because it's not a very nice word. You know what else isn't a nice word? Like I said, dumbass. There's a lot of not, not nice words that are used in public. And if you can handle it, maybe you should stay sheltered in your own house, lady. Stand by. My response. Let's just read her response one more time so you're aware. It's not what you said, it's how you said it. Fine, stop right there. Maybe I was a little crass. Maybe I was a little harsh. Maybe I was a little too honest for people. I don't really know, nor could I care less. Is it, could I care less or I couldn't have cared less? Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Here's what really triggers me. <laughs> Please refrain from using the word stupid. It just wasn't a very kind choice of words at all. Again, I didn't call Ryan stupid, the guy who posted. I call the rule of thumb stupid and I proved it. 
here we go, folks. Here's my response. Okay. Oh, sorry. Laugh out loud. <laughs> okay. I didn't realize that was hurtful for you. Why did you go to your safe place and only think happy thoughts? I bet you enjoy getting a participation trophy for not even winning. It's another thing that pisses me off. And I've coached soccer for like 12 or 13 years, and we always give participation trophies. And I can't stand it. Why? Because it makes kids believe they can get a trophy for not trying, not doing their best, and not winning. And to tell you the truth, that's not a good thing. <laughs> it's really not a good thing. Because when they grow up, they don't understand the distinction from real world and youth soccer or sports or whatever, where you get a trophy no matter what. Yeah, maybe I'm that a-hole coach. I really didn't want to give them out, but I had to. <sighs> safe place. Hopefully she went to her safe place. Well, she responds in the best way she knows how. A threat. Unfortunately, three th she wow. Unfortunately, she threatened something I don't care about. Michael Skernick, this is a judgment-free zone and you should be careful on how you choose your words. And if you cannot follow the rules, you will be blocked or banned. <gasps> no! Pretty much how I responded in writing, but thought it was better if I acted it out. Bah. Connie Barn and Hamilton, no, please don't ban me. No, don't, I beg you. <sighs> so, of course, this morning I woke up and I was banned. Let me give you my shocked face. That's right, I was banned. Fish tank group therapy. Don't really care. There's a thousand Facebook groups about fish tanks. A lot of them I really don't like. There's a couple of them I like. I like Bob's group. It seems pretty good. People are pretty smart in there. I like Kayla's daily, whatever she calls it, daily topic. I like Kevin Green's daily topic in uh, uh, Tank Talk. Fortunately, the Tank Talk, the group itself, is kind of dead. But anyway... Facebook groups. Yeah, we all know how I feel about them in general, but this one, this is a winner. We're going to end this video with a quick little uh, tidbit of information. Later in the post or in another part of the same post, the OP writes, my, my uh, uh, pH is high. <coughs> I don't know what to do. I've already done a 50% water change on Sunday and a 20% water change two days later and a 30% water change two days after that, and it's still high. So, if the pH coming out of your tap is, say, 8, and you put it in your tank, guess what your tank is going to be? 8. There are things you can add to the tank to lower it, but initially it's going to be 8. I never, ever advocate changing pH, trying to manage or change pH. <clears throat> Yes, I have some crushed coral in my, in my tanks and that might change it slightly. But I also do 10% do water changes daily, so it's really not gonna change it because it takes a while with clutch, crushed coral to change stuff like pH and, and hardness and stuff. But So, um, somebody who I know from the fish tank, fish, the YouTube world, if you will, asks the smartest question you could ask. What is your pH, right? My pH is high. People are telling her what to do, but they don't know what it is, nor do they know what fish are in the tank. This gets me also. If somebody asks a question on Facebook, like, my nitrates are high, what do I do? Well, yeah, you have to change water to lower nitrates, but ultimately you gotta figure out why your nitrates are high. Are you overfeeding? Are you not doing water changes? Is there a lot of detritus in the tank? Uh, are there nitrates in your water? You know, there's all these things. I mean the water you're changing, right? There's all these things you have to figure out. Don't just tell them, oh, you gotta do a water change because that's not gonna really fix anything. It's gonna put a Band-Aid on it. It's probably a nice, you know, like, Band-Aid with, with smiley faces on it. So after you get your cut and you go to your safe place because someone called you stupid and it gave you a cut, you gotta go safe place, curl, curl up in a ball. <laughs> oh, you stupid. <laughs> So Connie Barnett Hamilton writes, 
That is a little high. I keep up with the water changes. How do you know the pH coming out of the tap isn't that high, Connie? You don't, because you didn't ask a question. So I write, because I'm thinking, 7.8 really isn't that high. I wonder what kind of fish are in the tank. The OP has never said. How do you know it's high? You don't even know what fish the OP has. Then I went to sleep, and this morning, boom, banned. So folks, that's my rant on Fish Tank Group Therapy Group. I'm sure it's a great group. Uh, I think one of my uh, acquaintances from YouTube uh, might be a moderator or is involved in it. And you know what? Fine. Go to the group. Enjoy it if you will. Don't go to the group. Doesn't matter to me. But apparently you can't use the word stupid on Facebook. It's not a good choice of words. Connie went to her safe place. Probably curled up in a ball. Hopefully she feels better now. Fishy folks, hope you enjoyed my rant from Japan. Have a great day. Well, hiya, fishy folks. I am currently in Ota, Japan, which is in Guma Prefecture, which is pretty much the middle of nowhere. No, it's, it's like the hottest part of Japan ever. It was like 100 degrees yesterday. It felt like 110 or something. But anyway, it's time for a rant. That was a stupid intro. Stand by. Most face, face,